Okay, I started recording. You did? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do, uh, install a rivet master link on a vortex chain. So the tools I'm gonna use are RK chain tool, which is the best I've ever used. I've used this tool for years and years. I love it. Um, calipers, we got some wheel bearing grease. We got the rivet master link here. So the first step, get the chain on the sprocket. I'm gonna pack it with grease in the holes here. Get it in, in there, packed in there as well as I can. I'm gonna coat the new link with grease. Like that. I'm gonna coat the new X rings in grease, pack them, all the little grooves, best I can. Get two on this side. All right, get it started. This is kind of a little trick I got. So what I do is I hold this end and then I kind of pack it slowly to remove any air. So that's completely packed with grease. Okay. Get the other two O-rings or X-rings. Make sure they're nice and coated. Put those guys on. Now I'm going to put the uh, outside plate on there like that. Just kind of stage it. So for this one, I'm going to use the shallower plate. do is I get the rear wheel kind of so I can look down in there and make sure everything is lined up. Get that nice and square centered. Tighten it down by hand. Grab my wrench. Tighten it down nice and slow. Stop about halfway, take it off. Make sure it's in there lined up nice and good. And it's not all, um, that it's going in there nice and even. So you can see it looks like nice and even. Okay, then I'll proceed. Back on there. See the pins come through. They're coming through. And look right about where it starts to bottom out. Pull it apart. Clean all the grease off and inspect it. What I'll do now is I'll make sure it's the same width as all the other ones. So this one's at 683. This is at 705, so I still have a little ways to go. So you gotta take your time. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get it perfect, but you don't wanna just hammer it all the way in there and hope for the best. You want to stop, measure, continue. So, when I feel the resistance on my ratcheting wrench here increase, that's when I stop. I don't keep going. So we look at to clean off the grease. We look at the rivets poking out. We remeasure. So that's six nine six eighty five. 
686, so it's close enough. And the last stage here is to, now we're gonna actually rivet or mushroom out the end of these pins here. Okay. So for that step, we got this part goes here and then we got this one for the back side. the pin is in those grooves there and there get it nice and hand tight and then for this step same thing you'll feel the wrench compress and mushroom out that pin you just kind of go nice and easy and when that resistance starts to ramp up that's about it. You just stop right there. You don't need to smash these really aggressively. They don't need much. So make sure you do both. This is a very crucial step because if you forget to do this, this, that outside plate might just pop right off. So I felt it get a little bit harder. So I stopped, back it off, inspect. Mushroom tip here, you can see, didn't really take much. There you go. And that's it. Um, after that, you wanna set the tension on your chain according to your manual and make sure it's uh, even on both sides, left and right. But that essentially is uh, what I found to be a pretty good way of uh, installing a rivet master link on a chain so you don't overdo it you also want to make sure that it moves nice and smooth it doesn't require a whole lot of effort to move kind of like the other links there you go